All right, step number one is to get Victoria 4 set up. So all you do is quickly just select a, a shader to work with. I usually go with the skin shader for work, working with organic materials. Uh, pick a color that you're comfortable working with for the skin. Set MRGB, color, fill object. Next thing you're going to do is change the uh, grouping. So go to polygroups, auto groups with UV and that'll set up the groups for painting on by material zone as you can see here as opposed to their rigging groups which are completely different and unnecessary uh, at this point we're almost ready to paint on it we're going to want to increase the resolution so control D a few times usually uh, two to three times is what you need so I'm going to go ahead and set that once that's set I'm going to press RGB turn off the Z add or and the Z sub if you have that selected Choose a color, any color at all, whatever one you're comfortable with, and just start to paint on the mesh. Now, I'm not going to make this pretty. This is going to be here. I've gone ahead and painted on Victoria 4. And what I'm going to do now is break the mesh up so that it's ready. So what we're going to do is go over to the Geometry tab here. We're going to lower the subdivision down to 1. Uh, then what we're going to do is go to the subtool palette and we're going to do group split. It's going to then warn us that this is a feature that cannot be undone. That's fine. Just click OK. Wait for it. OK, once it's split, you get mesh was split into 119 subtools or whatever happens to be the amount of subtools you need for your model. The first one we're going to work with is the torso. I'm going to shut everything off and leave just the torso here. This is what we wanted. So what we'll do is then collapse the subtool palette, open up the geometry palette, raise the subdivision back up to the highest. That way we get a nice clean image. What we're going to do is collapse the geometry palette, go to the UVW map, Set this resolution here to the size that you want. I'm going to go for 4,000. I'm going to click Enter, collapse the UV pat, and go here to Poly Paint. Make sure Colorize is turned on. And then what we're going to do is go to Texture Map, and we're going to choose New from Poly Paint. Click that. All right. Once that's done, we'll get a nice map that's here. The color, of course, will be completely correct, but it'll be flipped. So what we need to do is choose Clone Texture, which will bring it over into the Texture pa texture section here. Go to Texture at the top here, and choose Flip Vertical, and that'll flip the uh, texture upside down, which is right side up for you and I. Ta-da! All right, export that out. You can call it whatever you want, save it wherever you like. I'm just going to call it torso because I know it's the torso. It asks if you want to save a material index. You can choose no. You're not going to be using it. At least I won't be using it for this. Next, you want to go back over to your subtool palette. You're going to go down, scroll until you find your first any part of your limb, which is normally on your limbs texture in your limb material zone. Turn all the limbs on. If you paint it on the ears, just get used to paint, turning the ears on. For this tutorial, I'm going to turn them on anyway, even though we didn't use them. So again, I turn the ears on. Even though we didn't use them, they're just going to come out as the basic skin color we chose in the beginning. Um, so that's done. Uh, what I want to do next is choose Merge Visible, but before I do that, what I want to do is raise the resolution up to the highest on all of these. So what I usually do is I'll usually go over to the plugin palette here and I'll use the subtool master and tell it high res all. And it'll raise the resolution on everything, on all the subtools all at once. Now yes, I could have just done this myself but using this to do it is fine, it just goes kind of slow. And whether or not it's faster for you is 
really that's debatable. I'm just showing it because it's a feature that is in here so hey if you pay for it why not use it right? Besides it only takes about it only takes about 10 seconds. Okay it's done so once that's once that's done you're gonna do the same thing that you did before except there's another step since these are all separate subtools each one of these limbs is a separate subtool what you're gonna to need to do is choose merge visible make sure that weld is turned off and it'll merge all these visible subtools into one subtool so we're gonna wait for that alright once we're back what we're gonna do is go to the new subtool that was made it'll be a subtool all by itself it'll say merged will be appended to the beginning of that uh, what we're going to do is do the same steps we did before. So go to scroll down. Again, make sure your UV size is correct. Again, I want mine 4000, so that's what I'm going to click. And collapse your UV map palette after you're done. New from Polypaint. Wait for that to happen. All right. So we've got the new map here. It's 4000 by 4000, which is what we wanted. We're going to go ahead and clone texture, which will pop it over into here into the brush palette. And that's what we want again, so we're going to wait for that to happen. All right, once it's here, you're going to do the same thing you did before. Go up to texture and flip vertical. It'll flip, you'll see it here, and then just export it. All right, it flipped, export. Again, you can save it wherever you like, call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it limbs and save it on my desktop. No, I don't want to save that extra material channel. And then you're done, as to this point, you're done with ZBrush. So hang on one sec, we'll go over to Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, what I've done is uh, opened each map up inside of here. So you can see what they look like. Uh, remember that one arm was painted black, so it's not actually showing up in the black background here. Uh, what I can do now is I can do any editing, um, extra things I wanted to do, draw on top of this stuff do whatever I needed to do but I could do it inside of Photoshop to make this look a lot better laying down your base colors inside of um, ZBrush is a lot better than trying to do all of your painting inside of ZBrush it's just way too much work uh, doing it inside of Photoshop afterwards a lot easier you'll come out with a lot crisper textures and unless your computer can handle making your mesh a million 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 different polygons so you can paint on a really smooth surface and get a really crisp te texture you're much better off doing things inside of Photoshop which any texture person will tell you so uh, let's see how this looks on Victoria before we finish this up alright so here we have Victoria 4 inside of Poser 6 uh, looks like everything worked out fine so we'll do a quick render just to see how everything looks outside of that I think we're done folks hope this works for you and if you have any questions as usual just uh, leave me a message and let me know